Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is goal parser interpretation. So in this, we are given a string called command, which contains of three types of characters. The first type of character is uppercase G. The second type is a character of length 2, which consists of open and close parentheses. And the third type is a character of length 4, which consists of open parentheses with the letters A and L and the close parentheses. So we have to interpret this input string command and return the string in form of letters where the first type translates to uppercase G, the second type translates to the lowercase O and the third type translates to the letters AL. So when you put these three translations together, it forms the word goal, thus the name goal parser interpretation. Now let's take a look at the examples and see how this can be solved. Since we have to return a string as the output, first let us form the string builder and then we'll convert it into a string. The logic is very simple. We have to iterate through the input command from left to right and check each character at a time. We have to categorize the if statements into three parts and check if these are the characters present. If these are the characters encountered in the input string, we have to append the respective translations that is the letter G, O and A L into the string builder so that we'll get the output in the form of English letters. So if you take a look at this example, first we'll start from here. Since this is a letter G, we have to translate into G and the next two categories involve open parentheses. So this can be taken as a hint and the logic for these two categories lies on this open parenthesis. So we'll use one if statement to check for the letter O and for its respective else block, we'll directly append A L. So whenever you encounter an open parenthesis, we have to check if the next immediate character is a closed parenthesis. If it is so, we have to append O. Else we have to append AL because there are only three types and we already formed the logic for the first two things. So the remaining type whenever you encounter open parenthesis will be the characters AL. So to iterate through the input string, let's use a while loop where I will start from zero and that is the zeroth index position and I will iterate till the end of the command. First, let us apply the logic using a Java program and then I'll do a dry run for this example so that you'll get an idea of how the code is working. As I've mentioned before, let us use a string builder to form the result. Now let us use the while loop to iterate from starting index to the end. For that we'll need a pointer right. So I'm going to name it i which will be 0. So using a while loop i will iterate till the end of the command. Now coming to the first type we have to check if that character is an uppercase g. If it is an uppercase g we have to append that character into the string builder as it is. So if command dot character add i is equal to uppercase g then we have to append that uppercase g into the string builder so sp dot append and now we have to increment i by 1 so now we have encountered this character now we have to check for this character that is why you are incrementing i by 1 now let's check for the second category now we have to check if that character is an open parenthesis and the next immediate character to the right is a closing parenthesis. So command dot character at i is equal to open parenthesis and the next immediate character to the right command dot character at i plus 1 is equal to closing parenthesis. This is the case we have to append o into the result. So sp dot append of lowercase o. Now that we have appended o into the string builder, now we have to increment i by 2 because we have already checked these two characters. Now the i should be pointing at this index, right? So if you do i plus 1, we were here, it will be here for the next iteration. So instead of i plus 1, we have to do i plus 2 because we checked for two characters. So if you do i plus 2 from here, the next iteration will start from this index. So let's do i is equal to i plus 2. Now directly in the else block, block we can check for the third type of character that is al because they have already mentioned that command consists of only these three types of characters g, open close or al inside parenthesis. We'll directly indicate that if these two statements fail, these statements inside else will be executed. So else we can directly append al into the string builder i was here right 
we have to increment i by 4 so if you do i is equal to i plus 4 the next iteration i will be here after this now that you have reached the end of the string you can end the iteration so you do i is equal to i plus 4 for the next iteration so let's take the third example first it is encountering an open parenthesis so we can check this statement and it's checking if the immediate next character is a closed parenthesis since it is not a closed parenthesis, it will directly execute the else block statements. So it will execute this statement by appending al into the result. And in the next iteration, it will place the pointer after four index positions. The pointer was here. If you do i plus four, one, two, three, and four. So you'll point here for the next iteration. Since it is an uppercase G, it will execute this statement. So G has been appended into the result. If you do I++, because we have processed only one character, in the next iteration, it will point at the adjacent character to the right. Now that the pointer is here, it is going to check if the next pointer is a closed parenthesis. Since it is not a closed parenthesis, it will execute the statements inside the else block. So it will append AL into the result and then place the pointer after four index positions. Since the pointer was here, I will be now 1, 2, 3 and now 4. It will point here. Now it is going to check if the two statements are open and close. Yes, it is open and close. So it will append O. Place the pointers after two index positions. Pointer was here. Plus 1 will be here. Plus 2 will be here. Is an open parenthesis and the next character is a closed parenthesis. So you append O into the result again and increment I by 2. So I was here. Plus 1 will be here and plus 2 will be here. Now we are going to check if the character at the index i is a g. Since it is a g, you append g into the result and you have reached the end of the string. Condition will fail, you will come out of the loop and when you come out of the loop, you can return the string builder after converting it into a string using the two string method. So it's p dot two string. Now let's try to run the code. You have to place two equal to signs. We are getting the expected output. Let's submit the code. There you have it. Our solution has been accepted, which is faster than 72.66% of the Java online submissions. Coming to the time complexity, the time complexity is O of n because we are iterating through the string from left to right, where n is the length of the string command. The space complexity is also O of n because you're using a string builder to store the results. So guys, that's the end of the program. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.